Coming up on this edition of Out of the Blue, a busy spring semester has produced a wealth of good news for the MTSU campus. This includes a record donation to the MTSU Student Food Pantry, a special robotics training exercise for ROTC cadets, and an announcement of a new partnership to offer free college-level classes at a local high school. All this and more coming up on this edition of Out of the Blue. Hello and welcome to this latest edition of Out of the Blue. I'm Chris Davis. MTSU Student Food Pantry received a record donation just after winter break, courtesy of the Beta Club at nearby Central Magnet School. Here's a closer look at how Central's generosity will benefit MTSU students this semester and beyond. The kids decided that they wanted to host a canned food drive and they wanted to do it after the holiday season when they knew that the food pantries would need to be replenished and would probably really be in need of donations. So we talked about it and we looked at all the different pantries in the community and one of the parents of our service committee students said, why don't you take a look at the MTSU food pantry? And of course that piqued my interest in both of my degrees from MTSU, so I thought well, that would be a good thing. So we contacted Becca and she said there was a great need for it and we decided to just go ahead and go for it and do it. So the beta students took over, they did advertising, they were on the announcements, and they really encouraged the students to either give non-perishable items or donate money. And so we had about 80 beta students working on the project. They collected cans from their fifth period classes and they collected money as well. And in the meantime, they were preparing for a community event on Saturday. It was the grand finale to the canned food drive. And so we had a variety show with beta students and other students from Central who just came and performed. They sang and danced and played piano and did different things. And the entrance to the event was a requested three can donation or you could donate money as well. We also sold concessions and the proceeds from all of that went to benefit the MTSU Food Pantry. And we just think it was a great success. The students did a wonderful job. It was overwhelming how many cans we had donated, over 7,000 and right at $2,600 and uh, just a, a great example of how service oriented our kids are. And for beta, they have to have 10 hours on top of their 25 and these kids just really, really worked hard to put together something else. In the fall semester alone, we saw almost 700 students visit the pantry. Um, since we've been back January 2nd, we've seen almost 100. So the need is definitely there. Um, donations from the community like this will continue to help us keep the pantry running for our students. What it means to the student body is that now students are able to access food if, whenever they need to. So with the amount of cans that we have right now, this is going to be plenty for the rest of the semester and I know it will be. So big shout out to Central Magnet School and thank you so much for everything that they have done for us today. MTSU celebrated five community leaders during the 19th annual Unity Luncheon. Here's a recap of the Black History Month event, which featured remarks by Bishop Joseph Walker III of Mount Zion Baptist Church in Nashville. And today in this Unity gathering, how tragic it is that so many people in our culture subscribe to a, a thought that tells people that you can't walk, you can't get up, you're the dead one, you're the stinky one, you're the welfare mother, you're the unwed parent, you're the chronically poor, you're the permanent underclass. And if we had done something before they had gotten this way, there might have been some hope. Today we honor some amazing individuals who dared to rose stones away, people who were not satisfied with being apathetic or casual regarding the various concerns in our community, but true heroes and sheroes in our history. And we honor you today because your life literally symbolizes that you were willing to do what nobody else was willing to do, to roll the stone away, to tell somebody that there was somebody on the other side, to tell somebody that the people you gave up on have value you have dignity. Thank you for rolling the stones away. I want to say that I really, really appreciate <laughs> all the work that you are doing in our community, all the changes that you are making, and I hope that next year we will acknowledge some other change agents, some other change agents sitting right in this building. 
A group of tech-savvy University Honors College students share their know-how with thankful residents at Murfreesboro's Adams Place, a residential and assisted living facility for seniors. Take a look at their latest visit. The Honors College students initiated the idea. They came up with the idea of volunteering to come here to Adams Place to help our senior adults with their computers. They've been a lot of help and they do know what they're doing, that's for sure. And it's, it's just great to be able to know who you can turn to. Really very thankful to have these young students come over and show us because, as you know, when we get this age, uh, we're not very tech savvy. He's given me an education. Uh, very, very informative, you know. I, I feel like uh, it's, it's kind of an equal share uh, opportunity because while they're getting computer help, um, it's, it's so much more than that. That's just the, the beginning of it, I guess. They're also getting someone to talk to, someone to visit with, and we're getting someone to communicate within the community. A lot of times, uh, students, especially in the honors college, are stuck on campus, um, getting bogged down with classes, and so it's kind of an escape from campus and really getting to share your experiences with somebody else. Would you like to prepare students for the future and carry on the legacy of your favorite teachers? Middle Tennessee State University education students explore proven instructional methods and discover innovative tools and approaches that are changing the way children learn. Our graduates' extensive student teaching experience makes them highly sought after by schools throughout the Southeast. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Science shapes our society. The products, technologies, and efforts of the sciences affect much of our everyday lives. And the more advances we make, the more the careers of tomorrow will rely on a strong education in the basic and applied sciences. At MTSU, you will learn from Tennessee's best faculty, along with hands-on training with the latest equipment and facilities. Come and learn the science of success. Being True Blue is giving your all on and off the court. My name is Ebony Rowe and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is embracing unique perspectives. My name is Iris Montez and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is helping students solve real world problems. My name is Cliff Ricketts and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is making the world a safer place. My name is Sam Willie, and I am True Blue. Welcome back to this edition of Out of the Blue. I'm Chris Davis. MTSU military science students gained real-world exposure this semester to technology used in combat improvised explosive devices, or as we know them as IEDs. Instructors from the U.S. Army Fort Campbell Post visited campus and introduced students to IED robots, handheld devices, mine and metal detectors, and more. Here's a recap. Today the cadets of the MTSU ROTC program are going to receive training from uh, contractors and soldiers of the 101st Airborne Division uh, the counter IED section which is improvised explosive devices. As future soldiers we want to give them the most exposure to what is the most modern techniques for both tactically and equipment wise that the United States Army has to offer. So it's not an everyday event but on the same note uh, as cadre members it is our responsibility to give them these opportunities. We teach soldiers uh, in layman's turn how not to get blown up and what to expect when they do deploy. Uh, the IED is the uh, weapon of choice throughout the, you know, the world globally. There's over 600 incidents a, a month and people don't realize how important this is because you know the, the country is going in a different direction with coming out of Iraq and then out, uh, and recently out of Afghanistan changing the mission there so they think it's not as much of a threat but again 
every month over 600 incidents globally. So it is a weapon of choice because it's easy for the, uh, the enemy to produce and it's the number one casualty producing. 61% of all casualties on the battlefield somehow were uh, you know, affected by an IED. Uh, today they're gonna see some of the things we have. Uh, we teach mobility, so we've brought some of the handheld detectors uh, that they would see if they were in the force. We have uh, three different types of robots uh, that they would see out in the force that every soldier's trained on. We're gonna do, show them some search kits and site exploitation uh, equipment. We're going to show them some electronic warfare stuff. And then we got a, a lot of components and a lot of IEDs that they would see right there. Even with all these capabilities that they're going to see today, still the number one thing that finds the IED on the battlefield is a soldier's eye. A well-trained soldier will find that IED because there'll be an anomaly and something will be out of place. Who I used to hunt IEDs when I'd have route clearance patrol was turkey hunters and deer hunters because they're very observant to all their surroundings and have to be prepared for whenever that comes into the line of sight. This is my fourth year here in Middle Tennessee State University with the ROTC program. We have not had an opportunity like this as of yet. Um, it's generally just us doing our, our everyday missions and training for the cadets uh, within, within our organization. For, the, for our professors to actually reach out to the personnel they know and they have um, camaraderie with and they've served with, um, it's a fantastic opportunity and, um, for them, one, to come down and spend their time with us, but two, to train these soldiers for hours on end. As a prior service I have deployed before, one of our other units is getting ready to leave again um, here in the next while. Um, if they had this training, even though it's not my MOS, it's still fantastic training for them to have. So if they ever did come across a situation where they were in need to be able to operate this equipment, it'd be fantastic for them to be able to do. I feel that my obligation as a retired Sergeant Major is to give back to the Army and I have a big passion for this. Every night when I fall asleep, I look at a, a, a bunch of KIA bracelets that make me remember the people. Um, you know, Roberto Martinez, Gene Hawkins, uh, Chase Stanley. I think about them every night and uh, just think of how I could do something better with somebody else where I can bring them home. Um, one of the things I did uh, during my time was uh, Chase Stanley was my driver and, in my personal security attachment when I was a brigade sergeant major. He came back, he was a brand new private when I got him. By the time he come back, he was a specialist. The other battalion in one of my brigades was getting ready to redeploy to Afghanistan. I sent Chase because he wanted to go with him and he wanted to make a difference. I sent Chase over there and I was on my way on a trip and Chase was killed by a 1500 pound bomb. I was in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. I turned back around, got on a plane and I went home and I, I met him in Dover and I took him home on a hero flight to his family. Um, so my passion is just try to keep as many alive and every day impact somebody uh, and try to have everybody come home safe to their families. Now let's move on to a lighter topic, exercise. Are you a gym newbie? What's that you say? Watch as videographer Lee Harrington and MTSU Recreation Center staff explain. We're here on the campus of Middle Tennessee State University where there have been reports and spottings of the Jim Newbie. Now for those unaware of the Jim Newbie, this is a creature that can be spotted at any time of the year, but most frequently occurs in the months of January or February as they flock to the workout habitats in order to fulfill their New Year's resolutions. Now, while some of these creatures attempt to adjust to these new ecosystems of fitness, some of them cause quite the disturbance as they attempt to learn the social norms of this environment. Let us see if we can find one of these creatures in the wild. Well, if you would look here, it appears if we'd stumbled upon some sort of relaxation ritual. Let's see if we can spot a gym newbie in action. Now remember, a gym newbie will always demonstrate some sort of atypical social behavior that will disrupt the natural balance of the habitat. Okay, class, deep breath in and deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Oh my gosh, hey girl, what's up? No, are you for real? OMG. No. Oh my gosh! You're kidding! Hey, I gotta go. Let me call you right back. I'm sorry. Bye. Oh, 
just to let you know, man, we do offer free orientation for the weight room and cardio, or we could set you up with a personal trainer if you'd like that. Yeah, I might need to do that. It appears she just encountered a gym near me. Amazing! A classic gym newbie. The locals are clearly not impressed. While they may seem out of place today, some of these gym newbies may be able to adapt to the new environment and even call it their home. If curiosity spikes your interest, check out the Campus Recreation Center for MTSU and see if you yourself can spot a gym newbie. MTSU President Sidney A. McPhee visited his native Bahamas earlier this semester, but not for a vacation. Franklin, Tennessee couple Michael and Tina Cartwright, who have a second home there, established a scholarship for Bohemian students who want to attend MTSU. It is hoped that this would be an opportunity for that island to develop and for citizens of that island to see the future through these young individuals who will be participating in this scholarship. Sometimes things in life happen for a reason. And my wife and I were fortunate enough through a mutual friend of Dr. McPhee and myself to find ourselves buying a home in Great Exuma. At first we thought this was going to simply be a nice place to go vacation and get some downtime from a lot of work. And, and what we found was that my wife, my children, uh, when we go there, it's not just uh, a second home. It, it really feels like home and, and felt like over the last few years that we need to give back to that community. Uh, we do that in our local community in Tennessee, and now we want to feel like that we should be doing the same thing in our local community here in the Bahamas. This $600,000 gift is extremely significant, and I agree with Dr. McPhee, it will be transformative. An hospitable welcome to our distinguished international guest, philanthropist Mr. Michael Cartwright and President of Middle Tennessee State University, Dr. Sidney McPhee. Recipients of this scholarship, it's worth $32,000 a year. That is to fully attend at this university. There may be individuals here that would love to get a degree, would love to get an education, that totally transformed my life, and I'd love to give that back to you. My name is Andrew Willoughby. I am an aerospace major with a concentration in professional pilot. I did an honors thesis project on commercial pilot maneuvers and, and their importance. The most significant things that led me to continue in honors was the, the fact that I needed something to set me apart from everybody in the industry. I've talked to a few companies that come to our career fairs, and I know several companies said, you've done a thesis, we really want to see that. And so they're already interested in my work as uh, an honor student. At Middle Tennessee State University, we are devoted to student success. We offer the advantages of a major comprehensive university with the care and attention found at a small college. We are a community that believes in learning, growth, and service. We hold these values dear, and there's a simple phrase that conveys them. I am true blue. I am true blue. I am true blue.
At Middle Tennessee State University, music majors receive a world-class education from a renowned faculty. Students experience first-chair instruction no matter their instrument. Our graduates go on to share their gifts on stages worldwide and instruct the next generation of musicians, never forgetting that they found their forte at Middle Tennessee. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Do you want to make a difference? Make an impact in your world? The College of Behavioral and Health Sciences is centered around service. We want you to get out of the classroom and learn by meeting the needs all around us. Make a difference at the College of Behavioral and Health Sciences at Middle Tennessee State University. Welcome back to this edition of Out of the Blue. We wrap up this edition with a story about a special partnership between MTSU and Blackman High School in Murfreesboro that will allow eligible Blackman students to take up to six hours of college level courses at their high school campus. Not only that, but the courses will be free. Here's more. Initially, students who are participating in this program will be able to take six hours of college level courses at no cost. That is ever round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. At no cost <laughs> in these days in time. Um, no cost to the student with regards to the tuition uh, and fees associated. And these courses will count both for the high school credit towards graduating and high school with a diploma, and also uh, will count as university level course. So you will have an immediate uh, uh, jump an advantage in uh, the collegiate experience. It's a great opportunity for our students to become a part of an academy right here at Blackman High School so they can have the Blackman experience um, but they can also have a rigorous course of academics, they'll have a real life experience, they'll have uh, school involvement and they'll have research all the way from uh, freshman, sophomore, years uh, group research in a cohort situation and uh, then they'll end up with an independent research project that they'll present uh, before they graduate. So it's a fabulous opportunity for our kids. Um, we are so excited at um, just the resources that we're going to have with MTSU being our, our partner. Uh, also as part of this historic partnership, our university will provide the opportunity for the students to be co-enrolled as a high school student and a university student. And as a result of that, you will be, students participating in the program will have access to all of the outstanding facilities, academic programs, events, and opportunities that are afforded an MTSU student access to our recently open $147 million new science facility. Um, students will have access to study abroad programs. You'll have a library card. Uh, you'll have access to the university library, as any scholar would have. And all the athletic events, you will have access free of charge to MTSU athletic events as part of this uh, opportunity to be a scholar in this program. We'll be issuing you an MTSU student ID. And so the added value, the academic experience, the exposure to world-class facility, to outstanding faculty, and to one of the best universities in the country will be at your fingertips while you are still a student at Blackman High. Part of our discussion was to tighten the relationship between Rutherford County Schools and MTSU. We have lots of very bright students and opportunities to, if we could get some MTSU teachers into the schools, we can offer some opportunities there. We can, we can retain some of the best and brightest in Rutherford County here at MTSU. No doubt we're excited about this, uh, the development of this collegiate academy. And 
we are very much focused on making this program the very best college preparatory program in the nation. I don't think you will find a partnership with the benefits and the collaboration as extensive as we are developing here with Blackman anywhere in the country. That's it for this edition of Out of the Blue. For more information on MTSU News, be sure to go to mtsunews.com. Until next time, stay true blue.